Hi friends, welcome to Arc Tutorials. This is what is series and in today's episode we are going to learn what is regression testing. It's very very important to understand because as a developer and as a QA you would come across these terms quite frequently. So it's important for both to understand what it means and how you can use this knowledge to improve your application and code quality. So what is regression testing? Regression testing is defined as a type of software testing to confirm that a recent program or code change has not adversely affected existing features. Imagine that you already have an application and you are adding some new functionality to it. So regression testing will help us test the existing functionality as well as the new changes. Regression testing is nothing but a full or partial selection of already executed test cases which are re-executed to ensure existing functionalities work fine. This testing is done to make sure that the new code changes should not have any side effects on the existing functionalities. It ensures that the old code still works once the late, latest code changes are merged in. Now, a, a lot of argument in the developer community is, do we really need the regression testing, right? So this is some, uh, this is an argument which uh, keeps coming up every now and then. So let's talk about it and understand a little bit more. The need for regression testing mainly uh, arises whenever there is a requirement of uh, code change or we need to test whether the modified code has any effects in other parts of the software application or not. Moreover, regression testing is needed when a new feature is added to the software application and for defect fixing as well as performance issue fixing. Right? So you have your, um, let's say you built an entire application, you are done with your uh, development part and then you see some kind of performance issues, right? So what happens in this case is the development team will put in fixes like optimization, etc. Now this can be totally for just for performance or can be say new functionality, right? It can be any additional new code. So the idea of regression testing makes sure that anything that we have done, a stable product is working as expected and at the same time, new code changes that are pushed in are also working as expected. So now the question then comes, when to do the regression testing, right? Typically, regression testing is applied under these circumstances. Whenever there is a new requirement that is added, right? Then you have to do regression testing or whenever a new feature is added or a functionality is added, then we have to do the regression testing whenever you have fixed defects right now if there is a critical workflow let's say order management right or placing an order that time you are changing or fixing defects then it makes critical thing that we have to test the entire workflow together also in some cases once the product is released you might want to do some kind of product fixes because to improve the performance or security or scalability issues that time you definitely have to consider regression testing finally whenever there is con changes in your patches or you are doing configuration changes you definitely have to do the regression testing now what is the difference between retesting and regression testing right so these are two terms that uh, you know um, it it's so here think of it this way that retesting means it's a term we hear often when people confused right so whenever we hear the word retesting people get confused with regression testing the two it might look like they both are same but not exactly they both are totally different in nature let me explain you retesting means testing the same functionality again without any additional code base or functional changes right so retesting means there is no code change. There is no new code. It's the same code base. You are just testing it again. Whereas regression testing means there was an addition of code or removal of code or basically there was a code base change. 
and then you are testing to make sure that everything is working as expected that is called as regression testing thank you so much for joining i hope you have learned something new today i hope your concepts are getting clear with each passing day if you have any doubts just let me know in the comment section i will be happy to help you thank you so much for joining don't forget to subscribe to my channel